Fellas, imagine you are trotting across a barren landscape, an old desert. The wind is kicking up sand. I gotta keep this short because otherwise I'm, I'm gonna get people dropping off. Guys, we're playing sh Genie. You rubbed a can of Red Bull and I popped out from the can. Now, I have 10 wishes in front of me. For each of these 10 wishes, you get to decide whether or not you want the prize that I am offering you. For instance, you could get $10 every time you poop, but you may get something that you didn't bargain for. And if you take three L's, the game's over and you die. I forgot to mention that. Now, as the genie, unfortunately, I have to be the one to decide whether something is a W or an L. And you're just gonna have to trust me because otherwise you'd be able to rationalize everything. So will you trust me on this into- Oh, you will. Oh, okay. Hey, thanks so much for shaking my, my hand. It's a lot of trust that you're putting into me. I totally understand why you're nervous, but I promise you I'm gonna treat you right, and you're gonna- Look at all the people agreeing in the chat. Everybody agrees. And I- You know what, YouTube? I like you guys better anyway. Because you guys are more willing to shake in service of good content. These guys just want to win. These guys are tryhards. Now, this is a practice round, okay? This is just so you guys understand how it works. Will you take the genie's offer to get $10 every time you poop? Every single time you go to the bathroom, you get 10 bucks. Not bad. You guys said yes. You take the genie's offer. And what happens? You have to poop out the $10. Now, the reason this is a practice round is because depending on how squeamish you are, might be a W, might be an L. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you guys come to your own conclusions. But now you see how the game works. So we're going to go ahead and play a little bit more. You would get $10,000 and every single Yu-Gi-Oh card ever made. Every Yu-Gi-Oh card. Which you could probably sell for more money. That's a million dollars? Wait, really? <laughs> Is that true? I actually, my answer might change. I knew, I, I said whether this was a W or an L, but like maybe, maybe my opinion's changing. Oh wait, is it? It's a copy of every card. You're not getting everybody's card. You're not getting everybody on the planet. You're not taking all their cards. No, you get one copy of every card ever made. That's what they meant. That's what I meant. I'm the genie and I came up with this. All right, most people are saying yes. Okay, sure, sure. And so in your hands appear every single Yu-Gi-Oh card ever made. And you feel your wallet getting a little bit heavier in your back pocket. Whoa, what's that? Must be $10,000 that just got instantly transported. Yes. However, there is a drawback for you see in order to receive such items, you have to swallow bucket of sand. Now, originally this was an L, but you know, I actually, you guys might've convinced me. You, it's only one bucket of sand and it's a lot of money. How much are Yu-Gi-Oh cards worth? This is important. Two million? 85K, 35K. It's worth it. It's a W. It's a W. You win. I must acquiesce. You win. I'll give it up. The genie gives it up. <laughs> the genie wanted to give you an L, but the genie gives it up, and he retreats back into the lamp. Okay? Connie, you literally cannot eat sand, you absolute madman. Well, I, I'm not the one eating sand, for one. And two, you have to swallow a bucket, but it doesn't say how big the bucket is. It could be a small bucket. It could be a large bucket. Regardless, you're making millions of dollars. You have infinite dynamite. You can spawn dynamite at all to... Are you guys really saying no? How about... Okay, you have control of it. Guys, you can have it whenever you want and it appears. It's not like you have it in a warehouse and it'll blow up the earth. This is cringe? Having infinite dynamite is cringe? Think of all the applications. What the fuck am I supposed to do with it? Are you not a creative mind? Wouldn't it be so fun? <laughs> Destroying things? <laughs> I guess it's all you can do with dynamite, right? 3070 on this. The genie will be honest. The genie thought you were gonna take the dynamite. The way this was supposed to go, you were supposed to take the dynamite, and then I was gonna say it's a W because you never play video games. But now if I say it's an L, you guys are all gonna get mad at me. So just this once, the genie is gonna give you a gimme, okay? Normally the genie does not allow for such foolishness, but the genie is going to give you one pass, okay? How much the di does the dynamite sell for? That's the thing, you guys could've been rich. You could've had infinite money. That's illegal. Can you sell dynamite? Is dynamite still real? Or is that like a Wild West thing? Okay, fine. You, The genie rolls his eyes 
and he gives you this one. You can eat literally anything. You can't eat the genie. You can't eat me. I'm gas. I live outside of the corporeal realm. Theoretically, I could eat anything already. Okay, let me let me paint this picture. I should have been more clear. Your teeth can bite through anything. It goes through your system fine. You're able to process it. How does it taste? Let's say palatable. Okay, seems like the answer is still no. And uh, turns out it's a W. You guys won. I really wanted you to say yes, so I could ask you, why the fuck would you pick that? Why did you want to eat anything? You will turn everyone you touch after eating into an object into your last meal. So if you, if you ate drywall and then you touched your girlfriend, the girlfriend becomes drywall. I guess. I don't know. This is very poorly described, but I think that's what it was. The point is, I wanted you to say yes so I could be like, why did you do that? But chat isn't quite as funny as it used to be, I guess. Whatever, fine. You guys win. No L's. $50 appears next to you. Wow. Guys, if there's no downside, you're going to look so silly. If there's no downside on this or if the downside is small, it's an L. You going to do it? Huh? Huh? Seems as though it's a pretty even split. However, it does appear that most people would take the $50 by about four votes. And, uh, unfortunately, it's an L. It's a fat L. You get chased by a street shark for 30 minutes. And you probably die, I would assume. 30 minutes is a long time. I think you would run out of speed and gas, and you got eaten. You die, I think. Oh, God. I should have looked this up. What are land sharks? <laughs> oh, my fucking God. You're Oh, that's a car. <laughs> land sharks don't exist. Th there's one right there. You died. See, when I heard land shark, I thought it was a street shark. Who's like this guy. If these guys are chasing you for 30 minutes, you're dead. You died. It's an L. Especially if the big guy got you. This big red dude is bloodthirsty. I could take them. It's, it's four of them. A giant land shark. Okay, one of them. But it is the big one. It says it's a giant one. You lose. You lose. It's a fat L. <laughs> Pokemon are real. There is a world where Pokemon could exist. Seems like most of chat don't want to wish in the fantastical Pokemon world. Why not, chat? I wonder. Hyper Beam. <laughs> you guys don't want Pokemon to be real? I'm actually... I, that's insane to me. But okay. The genie, dejected, puts down his Pokeballs, but doesn't open them. He just lays them down gently. And he reveals to you the world that you refuse to live in. 75% of them will attack humans on sight. Now, I think many of you would say this is a W. However, the genie declares to your surprise, this is an L. You should have taken the deal. This is just animals. 75% of animals will hit, will attack you in the grand scheme of things. And so, the genie, laughing to himself mightily, declares it an L, and unfortunately, you're only one away from death. 75% of animals will attack you on sight. Does it mean they all will kill you? No. They have fucking laser beams. Yeah, but you have to, like, go way outside of your comfort zone to find them. A polar bear will eat you on sight, but you're not going to Antarctica, right? It's not like you're going there. It's the same with Pokemon that are really strong. When would I ever interact with a Mewtwo? I would have to go to some desolate underground lab. I'm not going to Area 51. These things live in cities, and they don't do any damage. Look at that. Because they don't have the means to do all that damage, even the hostile ones. It is not animal. No, nope, it's, it's an L. It's an L. There is a 75 chance that God himself nope. would attack you on sight with this logic. Nope, it's a Pokemon God, which is not as real or as powerful as the Lord himself. It's an L. Sorry to tell the you. The rats will strike you with lightning and you will die. Nope. Nope, they can't kill you. It's been shown that Pokemon cannot- uh, Pikachu can't kill Ash. Honey's lack of Pokemon knowledge continues to screw us Honestly, over. you should have known better. You really should have known better. I'm just saying it's, it's an called Chitty Jenny because Connie cooks himself and makes bad takes to cover it up. Nope, 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 nope. You should have known what the genie was up to. You blew it. You can cry to yourselves now, but unfortunately in the genie's mind, it's an L. Driving your car stuck in traffic, then an Alakazam comes and fucks your car up. 
Alakazam, the car-hating Pokemon. Dairy Queen starts selling pizza. Dairy Queen's not bad. Oh, you guys don't want Dairy Queen pizza? That's already an L. Bro, why don't you guys like Dairy Queens? All right, most people are not accepting the pizza deal. The genie understands. The genie has noticed that it looks like there's nobody in them shits. You ever notice that? Dairy Queens never have anybody in them, even employees. You look inside the Dairy Queen and they just look unoccupied. Well, there will be no pizza on this day. And you know what? It's a W, I guess. Dairy Queens, you missed out on the delicious Dairy Queen pizza, but you, you stopped a monopoly. Yeah, you stopped Dairy Queen from taking over the pizza empire. The genie was actually going to call this a W if you took his deal, because of course, this means that Dairy Queen would have the best pizza on the planet, and you would be enraptured by their delicious taste. So either way, I think you win this one. The genie gave you a softball. Everybody say thank you, genie. Thank you, genie. Yeah, they all said it. Thank you. The genie accepts your offering of thanks. You have all of the powers of Superman. Look at this. Chat really wants to be Superman. All of Superman's powers at your disposal. Ice breath. X-ray vision. Flight. Super speed. What's the catch? Well, unfortunately, I cannot offer that information just yet. Hmm. It's gonna be like kryptonite is as common as air or some shit. Who knows? Who can say? Certainly not the genie. The genie gives you a wry, sardonic smile. And it seems as though many of you are willing to sign the contract. 63% of the chat grabs the other 37 and demands they follow them into this hellish new future. What future is it, you ask? Everyone in the world is stronger than you, Superman. Like, seriously, even babies. It's an L. You're dead. You died. And so the genie watches as you descend into the fiery pits of hell. Oh, that's so silly. Who cares? You died. You died. You became Superman, but Superman is weaker than babies. Now, hold on. You arrive at the gates of hell, and you speak to Satan himself, Beelzebub, and he says, what are you in for? Well, I lost the deal with the shitty genie, and he sent me down here. And the devil is like, what was the deal? Well, he said I could have all the powers of Superman, but everybody in the world was stronger than me, including babies. Yeah, it, I think you kind of got a raw deal. That's kind of shitty. And the, the and Satan, he rips up your contract, says, no, no, this will not do. Satan lifts you back into the land of the living. You have one more opportunity to vanquish the shitty genie. However, the genie laughing in your general direction. <laughs> So you've returned. Very well. I will offer you one more opportunity. However, if you are to fail this time, it's game over. But if you succeed, I will give you our initially agreed upon sum of 10 gift subs. And you're pretty sure he said something else before, but you just went to hell and it's been a really long day. So you're like, okay, I'm pretty sure it's 10. So you shake his hand and we're back at it. You can get anything for anyone other than yourself. This is an explaining moment, by the way. This is quite a large paragraph here. You can see some of the downside. Yes, it is very large, so you're able to see a part of it. It seems as though, despite that, 67% of you take the other 32 and sign the contract in blood. You prick their finger and everything and, and wipe it. And the 32% get really mad at you. You can get anything for anyone other than yourself, but... You have to sacrifice something of yours to get it for them. You must get it to them. And you can only rely on others to survive. You keep what you already have, except no job and no money unless you're giving it. You can't give powers, only things that exist, which includes solutions to problems. Uh, what does that mean? I don't know. The, the genie is as confused as you are. The genie, uh, shakes his head a little bit, and, um, the genie gives it up. The genie gives it up. Relying on others to survive... It, it, no job and no money unless you're kid. The genie doesn't quite understand. The genie uh, it, it feels kind of bad about this one, and he doesn't know how it got into the shuffle. So the genie is gonna. The genie will let you have it. You can be a beetle, band or bug. I don't know. What do you think? I will say there's a hint in here. Look at the spelling. Look at the spelling of the word. 
This genie is the shittiest thing since Cooties <laughs> on Netflix. It's more rigged than the CSGO lottery streams. I can't believe this genie has a job. I give it a 3 out of 10 on the moist meter. Come on, moist. We're boys. Come on. I thought we were friends. That sounds so accurate, by the way. I can't believe Charlie would say that. 75% say no. I think a lot of people said this because they thought that they would be John Lennon and dead. I see where your head is at. However, you're not John Lennon, you're Ringo. And you didn't become Ringo, which I think is a W? He wasn't that big a deal. If you if you got to be Paul McCartney, that's a W. Ringo's kind of a meme. So I think it's a W. I think you guys win. I'll give it up. W all around, you avoid being British. That's true too. You get to stay wherever you're from. And if you're already British, then you already lost. <laughs> You, it's worse. You, you li currently live a fate worse than death. The genie cannot threaten you with anything. Why are you roasting Ringo like that? I don't know. I hope he doesn't watch the stream. I feel really bad. They finally remake Final Fantasy VII in HD with full voice acting. Oh my god. Could you believe that? Like, imagine like if the whole game was in like 4K, right? And like maybe, like, maybe they would split it up into multiple games because it was so big that they couldn't do it all in one. And, like, the first game is just, like, you know, you're in Midgar, and, like, you blow up the plant, and then, like, I don't know, the game's, like, different but the same at the same time, but you don't even really get to fight Sephiroth because you're doing a lot of, like, side. Bro, that'd be so tight. It seems as though most of you are saying no, so you never get the Final Fantasy VII Remake in HD with full voice acting, which means that you missed out on Lightning being the main character. Now, I think this is an L because you would have just gotten another game. I actually think it's an L because you would have gotten Final Fantasy VII again, but with a new character, which would be a brand new experience. No one wants that? Uh, I mean, you, okay, think of it this way. You already have Final Fantasy VII. This is just another Final Fantasy VII, but with a new main character. You are literally creating more things in the world. You don't, it doesn't affect your Final Fantasy VII. I think it's an L. I think you got an L. I do. You don't need it. It doesn't matter what you need. We don't need a Final Fantasy Battle Royale for the phone, but the fact that it exists makes some people happy. The total happiness in the world increases. Play 13. It's not the same. The genie is pretty sure this is an L. You fall to your knees begging the genie, please, genie, please, it's a W. W, bro, please don't send me back to hell, genie. The genie says, oh, Jesus Christ. The genie's so fucking sick of you. Fine, just because you're so goddamn pathetic. I'll give you one more chance at 10 gift subs. Final opportunity. Something good happens. Do you hit the button for something good to happen? 68% of you have opted for the good thing. Something is better than nothing. The genie likes your, uh, likes the way you think. Two-thirds of you have said, sure, I'll hit the button so something good happens. <laughs> the fog slowly begins to lift. You hit the button for something good to happen. And to your surprise, you see something bad happens that obviously outweighs the good thing. Sorry, you lose and you died. You went to hell and Satan closes the doors behind you. You will never make it out. You don't even get limbo. You are subjected to eternal pain, punishment, and damnation. Thank you guys for playing. This has been an episode of Shitty Genie. Remember to subscribe below. It's part of the contract. You're in hell now, and you signed a contract to get in there. You gotta subscribe and like. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Say bye, everybody. Come on. Come on, it was a fun game. You want, you really clicked the button that said a good thing happens, and you believed it. How dumb do you have to be? <laughs> That's ridiculous.